Hi there, this is Victor, your host at Study Lab. Let's continue the third part of our series with a short talk on the differences between the old and the extended or new test, uh, aka bracket versus double bracket. We'll also address the use of the double parenthesis for C style variable manipulation and arithmetics. And once we are done, we can finally dedicate our next video to the if statement and try to write and test out a practical bash script together. Let's get going. Okay, so we're at our terminal. Uh, basically, the double bracket is the extended version of the test command, which might not be fully supported by other shells, but generally if you're writing scripts for Linux and don't want to support uh, some old outdated distros or uh, BSD uh, then you can safely use the double bracket syntax. So what are the benefits of uh, using the extended test? First of all it's not as easy to make errors as it is with the single bracket syntax you won't have to escape your uh, less than or greater than operators, for instance. Uh, the double bracket is smart enough not to confuse these operators with the redirection operators. So if we do string 1 greater than string 2, and if that's true, echo yes or echo no, then that will work perfectly fine. Uh, whereas, if you remember from our uh, previous lesson, when you use the single bracket, you need to escape the greater than symbol so that bash doesn't uh, confuse it with the redirection. Okay, um, also, uh, one other um, benefit uh, it's not really a big thing but you can use um, you can use the double equal sign um, and the bang equal or exclamation mark equal um, with the double brackets so the syntax is uh, closer to the C style remember that for the single bracket we used a, a single uh, equal sign. Also you can use pattern matching or globbing with these two operators and by globbing I mean what you do when you uh, look for a file and when you type in the name you add in a wildcard here. It's basically uh, super basic pattern matching. You can do that with uh, the double bracket syntax. So, uh, double bracket, string one uh, equals, and now without double quotes, str wildcard. And echo yes or echo no. It says yes because the pattern matches. So now if we add in a non-matching character in there, it should say no. And finally, you can use uh, even regular expressions with the equal uh, tilde operator. And I'm just going to do a simple one here. str dot plus dollar sign it should match. Um, now if you're not too familiar with regular expressions don't worry about it for now we're planning a series on that subject as well. Uh, but finally let's take a look at the double parenthesis. Uh, the double parenthesis allows for C style variable manipulation and assignment plus numerical calculations. So you can assign variables with double parenthesis without using the dollar symbol before the variable name. Mm, uh, sorry, actually that's um, 
ignore that because you don't use the dollar sign uh, uh, when you do uh, regular variable assignment either so when you assign a value to a variable you do uh, var equals whatevs echo var so the, the, the benefit of uh, doing variable assignments inside the double parenthesis is that you can do um, complex mathematical calculations inside of that so you do a equals let's say 8 times 8 plus 36 divided by 2 and then you close the double parenthesis and if we echo out so bash basically will calculate all of this for you and assign the value to the result to the variable um, let's see what else um, you can use the pre-increment post increment pre-decrement and post decrement operators as in C and let's do some examples so the current value of our variable a is 50 now let's echo and this time we'll uh, precede the double parenthesis by a dollar sign because we want to use the value returned by the double parenthesis and here we're going to use the post increment operator a plus plus also remember not to um, precede the variable name by a dollar inside the parenthesis that's not needed and actually I think this will error out yeah so never precede the variable name by a dollar symbol inside the double parenthesis anyway so if we execute this remember that our current value is 50 now it will echo out 50 but if we echo our variable again it's actually 51 so what happens is um, the double uh, parenthesis here will return the current value of the a variable which was 50 and after it does that uh, it will uh, increment that variable so since it already returned 50 the echo here will echo 50 but after that the double parenthesis will increment our variable we can also use uh, pre decrement so it will first increment this variable and then return its value so now since the current value is 51 this should directly echo 52 and it does and if we echo again it's 52 uh, the decrement for uh, pre-decrement or post-decrement functions exactly in the same way so it's the exact same syntax and behavior you just use minus minus instead of plus plus one other basic and handy operator except the common uh, minus plus uh, multiplication or uh, division is the double star or double asterisk which is exponentiation it's used to raise a number to a power so for instance echo double parenthesis 2 to the power of 3 it should echo out 8 okay uh, note that whenever you want to use the value returned by the double parenthesis uh, sorry to stress this again, but it's very important uh, So if you want to use the value of the double parenthesis always preceded by a dollar symbol 
when you do variable assignment that's not necessary so it's not necessary to do this a equals uh, 10 not necessary to uh, precede this by a dollar uh, symbol and if you do on a dedicated line like this you'll actually get an error because bash will try to execute the value um, you can though uh, do this in certain uh, cases for instance when you both want to uh, use the value and do the assignment at the same time so if we echo out this it will uh, work perfectly fine it will first assign the value of 10 to the variable and return it so it gets echoed or you can um, um, assign all this to another variable so uh, var equals dollar double parenthesis a equals let's use b here so b equals double parenthesis a equals um, 15 and what this does is it will assign the value of uh, 15 to both variables basically so if we echo out a it's 15 and if we echo b it's also 15 uh, one other nice thing about the double parenthesis is that you can distribute the spaces however uh, you want uh, it won't complain so if uh, you do if you don't use space here and do a equals uh, and then add a bunch of spaces open up parenthesis 8 times 19 divided by 2 uh, plus 3 um, minus 1 and then space and close the double parenthesis Did, this will work perfectly fine uh, remember that bash will normally complain whenever you don't space things out properly but within a double parenthesis you're free to go wild uh, one important thing to note is that this double parenthesis only deals with integers and not or integers and not floating point numbers apparently the zsh or z shell provides full floating point support but bash doesn't for now so if you want to work with floating point num floating point numbers you can use uh, python and you can use it within your uh, bash scripts you can call python or perl or the bash calculator utility which will cover in a future dedicated tutorial on uh, bash floating point calculation um, so if you try this double parens a equals uh, 3.15 divided by 2 you will get an error syntax error invalid arithmetic operator or if you try to divide 3 by 2 you'll get an integer result instead of a floating point echo a it's 1 instead of 1 1.5 um, okay so we're not going to cover uh, the bash calculator right now because this is already a lengthy video but I'll just do a super quick example so BC and then I'm going to set the scale to 2 which means we're uh, we want to use two decimal points and then uh, you can type in your expression uh, 3 divided by 2 and it's 1.5 so that's how the bash calculator works in a nutshell and you can use it within your scripts using uh, a few tricks which we'll talk about in uh, a future tutorial uh, other alternatives to the double parenthesis are um, 
well one of them is the dollar bracket syntax uh, note that in this case you uh, if you do any variable assignment this always return the, returns the value since it's preceded by a dollar uh, and you can't uh, take out the dollar symbol before because then it becomes the test command which we talked about in our uh, previous video so whenever you, you use this syntax it will uh, always return the value so if we, we do we try to do a variable assignment like this it will error out because it, it will try to execute 5 instead we can do this uh, a equals um, and then your uh, numerical calculations in, in here so 5 multiply it by 25 and echo a this works fine um, also the this syntax might not be compatible with all the other shells though it works just fine in bash finally there's also the xpr command uh, which bash includes for compatibility with the born shell or sh um, and it's your assignment to play with this uh, you can check it out using the xpr dash dash help uh, check out the help and all the available uh, options or the format of the expressions it accepts it does more things than just numerical calculations um, please also check out the manual page so man xpr because it uh, it provides some more information on this command and if you want a tutorial on xpr just drop out a comment below and we'll devote some time to it as well but that's it for today we're now ready to take on bash if statements next Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do that and hit the bell so you don't miss out on our next videos. Until next time, have fun and keep studying!